Hey, what's up YouTube fam? Brandon Weaver here once again. So, do you have to get the letters notarized that you send to the bureaus? And we've got a nice comment here. Check this out. I really wish I came across your videos a little while back. I've been very, uh, you have been, excuse me, you have been very informative and made understanding the process of repairing credit very easy. I appreciate your videos and enthusiasm. I can say I've learned a lot about credit through you, although, it's a shame we can never be taught these valuable lessons in our school systems. Thank you once again. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for that comment. This individual was very nice and letting us know that the videos are helpful and that, uh, you know, they wish they had learned this stuff, kind of stuff in school. So, you know, I want you to know that perhaps you're dealing with credit issues right now, you know. Uh, charge offs, collections, whatever it may be. Look, you probably weren't taught this. Just like this individual said, hey, it wasn't taught in our school system. Nobody ever taught you. Maybe parents, maybe grandparents. Nobody taught you this kind of stuff. It's all right. You're going through the process now. You're going to be all right. You're going to get to the other side of this. Okay. I know I've been there. You know, it, it didn't feel good. You, you, you may feel like, hey, man, what, what the heck? Why did this happen? Why didn't I know better? It's okay, you weren't really taught this stuff. Now you are, now you're taking control. So hit that subscribe, try button, and that bell for notifications so you get all these great videos, okay? So, if you're dealing with this kind of stuff, you wanna dispute these negative, nasty, erroneous, unverified collections and charge offs and repossessions or whatever it may be, you can do so with the six online dispute letters. But do they have to be notarized? So the letters, allow you to get them notarized at a notary of the public, allowing this um, to, you know, to, to certify who you are, right? Because sometimes the bureaus will be like, well, we don't know if it's you who sent it, and we don't want to know if it's you that really wants to dispute this. They're trying to, you know, do all this dancing and game playing. But if you notarize it, and you say you are who you say you are, and a notary of the public says this is you, then it's very hard for them to say, oh, well, it's not you, right? Also, on top of that, of course, you got the copy of your ID, copy of your social card, a potential uh, utility bill in there as well. But do you have to get it notarized? No, it can help. It's not mandatory though. But when you do send the letters, you're gonna have to have uh, the pertinent ID and address stuff to confirm your ID and address, your identity and your address. So, you know, the social security card copy, your driver's license copy, utility bill copy, those things can uh, be part of that mandatory package of disputing. But the notary is optional. We believe it can help, but it is optional okay so you can send out these letters disputing these negative nasty erroneous items 609 creditrepair.com or we can do the work for you at the awesomelifegroup.com please give the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe try button and until i see you in person i will see you on the other side take care